Okay, so welcome to my review of the Valter P38. Uh, first off, it is a, a CO2 pistol, uh, only shoots BBs. It is a blowback pistol also. I got about 400 feet per second, and it's a smooth bore uh, barrel. One interesting thing was a single action only, and that's very nice because you notice a lot of double action uh, BB pistols, the trigger is very long, but this one it's not too bad. And um, it weighs about 1.9 pounds, so it has a pretty good, pretty good weight to it, pretty good feel. Not like the uh, some other just all plastic uh, BB pistols that weigh under a pound, and you can't really get the good feel of it. All right, so that's just basic look of the gun. So you know, it looks looks really cool. They try to stay true to make it a, a replica, so it has a lot of the you know, realistic features. Um, one thing I don't particularly like is you see the very glossy finish. Any any um, fingerprint kind of gets smudged. You see like you know you're just the oil from your skin. I wish it was more of a dull finish, but you see the gloss there. This uh, can't really do much about that. And the grips are uh, plastic, molded nicely, but it's still plastic. But every pretty much everything else is metal. And I'll give you a look at the, the sights are fixed. So I'll give you a look at those. Pretty good sights. No complaints about those. Uh, there is no place to put a scope. There's no rail or anything here. So you're just um, it's a straight shooter just with the open sights. Um, the safety is here. Right now it's on firing mode. This is safe mode. Has the S and the F. Uh, it's not the best safety, it gets it gets stuck sometimes, it's not as smooth, but it, it works, but it just gets sometimes, see that, doesn't, it's not the smoothest safety out there. And another uh, cool feature, keeping in mind of, of it being a replica, they have this latch here where if you put it forward you can kind of do a little field stripping here. The barrel comes out, and you see there's a BB in there already. And you can also see the barrel in there where this is where the CO2 comes out. So this, it really doesn't serve any purpose as far as the function of a gun goes. But it's just a cool feature that, you know, if you, it's not necessary to clean all that. But, you know, you could get in there, clean these parts. And it's just, another, like I said, it's just a cool feature to have. And um, when you put it back, it just slides back in. If I can get this and then you just put this lever back and it locks in place it doesn't move at all so very secure uh, very cool feature there and also it also has a drop-down magazine but the way you get it uh, there's no release here you have to push this lever back and the magazine comes out and it's a very standard magazine like the all Umarex guns and um, I'll get into showing how to load it later and the CO2 and also it has a uh, slide release so after you're done after you're finishing shooting your BBs the slide will come back and there's just there's the release here so it doesn't really serve a purpose that much but it's a good it's a cool feature to have and you can also see on the, on the, you could also um, manually cock the hammer. All right, so uh, that's the basic overview of the gun, and now I'll move into loading pellets, uh, loading the the CO2, and we'll see how that goes. Okay, so now you're ready to load your BBs. So first thing you do, so I showed you before, pull this little lever back, take out the magazine and there's two openings so you have to be careful when you load it there's this is the bigger side when you load it in here just be careful that they don't fall out the back so I usually just put my finger on the other side and it has a little uh, BB the follower here so you just pull this all the way back to the little slot so it stays in place and now you can load your BBs and I'll just load a few just so you can uh, see really quick I don't want to spend too much time just loading them but I'm holding my finger on one side and I just Just drop them in. And 
and you see that I just loaded two and when you load 20 it'll be probably about all the way up here and then you can slowly just uh, release the follower here and guide the BBs up don't just uh, release it and let it slam because the BBs can kind of get out of line or I even had some fall out so when you're when you're fully loaded you'll have one you will see the one BB there in the slot ready to go okay and then to load the CO2 this this side of the grips it just snaps off this one doesn't so you just take out one side and it's it's probably good to um, find some some of the Crossman Palgun oil like I showed in other videos it just helps keeps the seals uh, lubricated inside your gun so you just add one drop you don't have to do it every single time maybe you know once every other one or about there but just you know be uh, be mindful of that and then you just slide the cat slide the power lid in and then once it's in here's the piercing lever you just tighten it until you start to hear the hiss okay it's punctured and once you get that puncture you don't need to tighten it as hard as you can just a little bit more do not do it do not overdo it because uh, you can just kind of the little piercing uh, knob in there uh, you can kind of just smash it maybe and you won't get a good pierce on the other one so once it once you get that that break just a little bit more then you replace the, the grip and then you load your magazine back and now we're ready it's on safe mode and we're ready to shoot so um, we'll go out to the backyard and the first thing I'll do is just kind of show you the characteristics of its shooting and some problems that I've had and then the accuracy test okay so for this I just want to give you a look at uh, the blowback feature and so I'm having some problems with with the BB's jamming so I'm just gonna take a few shots so you can see and hopefully um, it will jam so I can show you how, how it works how that happens so we're just gonna take a first shot here has a has a nice little recoil to it and when uh, when I'm when you're aiming you can feel the break on the trigger uh, where the where the BB loads and the problem that I have sometimes when I'm aiming I pull the trigger halfway and I I don't um, I I pull it halfway but then I let off and sometimes the, the BB uh, just rolls out I guess because if you kind of just do it halfway the BB loads but then if you release it it's waiting for you to fire and if you don't fire it will just roll out right now uh, doesn't feel like that's happening well, you see I think that that first shot I did right now I think I had two BBs in it so when you're shooting it you can't you can't pull the trigger and then just let off you need to go through with it so I'm just going to empty the clip so you can see what it's like when when all of the BBs are finished. So there it is. That means you're done. So pretty good, pretty nice power. And I didn't have that jamming problem like I showed you before. I was hoping it would so I can show you. And now I'm just going to do the, the accuracy testing. Okay, so now I have the camera set up close to my target here. So hopefully you'll be able to see where some of them hit. Uh, I'm going to do 10 shots from 10 meters. And I'm using the uh, Daisy BBs. So let's see how I do
Okay, and we'll go take a closer look at those inside. Okay, so as you can see here, I kind of circled some of them just in case you can't see some of them. There's five in this area right here. One, two, three, four, five. So obviously the sights are off five, and this is my first uh, round of, of aiming. So not really that good to be honest, but I would say this would be the main focus area right here. If you're, if you're just plinking with cans, uh, you're not going to have any problems, but if you want to get the targets, uh, I must admit the recoil was, I hadn't shot it in, in a while, so the recoil was kind of, uh, couldn't handle it really, but once you shoot it and get used to it, you can get, I'm pretty sure you can do a little better than this. And this is the one I did um, on video, and then after I took, I took a few more just to see how much better I can do. And with this one, I I got I at least got some in the middle area, so I kind of adjusted my aiming, and I got four right here, four here, two here, one, two, three, four. so about ten in this general area. So you can see how my aiming improved. But still a lot off here to the left. So not not great accuracy out of a out of a BB pistol, and it's the the recoil probably surprised me a lot because I hadn't shot in a while. But there you go. That's the the one I did after, and this is the one I did in the film. All right. So in conclusion, the Walter P38. I would say it's more of a, a replica pistol than than a performance BB pistol. Because since you can't add any accessories, um, you know, you're not going to get that much accuracy out of it. And for someone like me that really likes World War II history, um, that's what really drew me to it. So if you like to, uh, you know, have add one to your collection, more on that side, I think it's a good choice. But if you really want that, that BB pistol to really get those, that more, the most accuracy you can get out of it, I probably would say this, is, this isn't a good choice for that. Um, the blowback feature is nice. Uh, what I really liked about it, like as I said before, has realistic features, even though they may not affect the functionality of the gun. It's still, I mean, it's still cool to have the slide. It's still cool to be able to take the barrel out. So, overall, I would say it's solidly built. It's good, but just the key thing is, it's it's just to be a replica, not so much a performance gun. All right, and that's the end of my review. And stay tuned for any more reviews I'll do in the future. And Thanks a lot.